the series of videos about threading text in InDesign. I know I've got, in the previous videos, I got all my parts mixed up here, but this is part five, and we're going to talk about uh, how to manipulate text threads and how to view text threads because they can get complicated depending on the layout that you're doing. So what I have here is I have a text thread that starts in column one, goes to column four, and then continues on to the next page. But the only way I would know that is if I created it <clears throat> or uh, if I actually followed the thread, if I read through the whole thing. It'd be nice if we had a way to view it, and thankfully there is. So in InDesign, if you go to the View menu, go down to Extras, there's an option in here called Show Text Threads. Well, if I choose that, you can see it actually connects all the boxes that are linked together uh, with these blue lines. So I can see this thread continues here, this thread continues here, that thread continues there, and then continues on to the next page. Now these lines are obviously very distracting, but as soon as I deselect, they do disappear. So they only activate once I actually click on an existing text thread. And of course, it's just as easy to turn off. You could go view, extras, and then simply choose hide text threads. It's going to turn it off. For now, I'm going to leave it on. So the next thing I would like to discuss is deleting a text box within a thread. So here I have, again, starting in this column, going to this column, this column, this column, and the next page. If I click on the second text box and I hit delete on my keyboard, you might think it deletes the text, but it does not. What it does is it simply deletes the box that text was in. And so now it's continuing or threading the text from this first column over to this third column. I can verify that by clicking on it. You can see it's connected now across. So deleting a text box that's part of a text thread does not actually delete the text. It simply deletes the box the text was in and it will reflow that text into the remaining text boxes. If you removed a text box and you didn't want to remove it or perhaps you want to add one in between two text threads, what you can do is you can click on a text box that is threaded. So here I can see this continues over into this column. But what I'd like to do is add that second column back in. So instead of the overset symbol, you do have a little arrow icon at the bottom of that text box indicating there's more text flowing somewhere else. If I click that, it actually goes to my loaded text icon, much like it did when we were originally threading text using that overset symbol. So now what I can do is I can actually use the exact same theory as before. I'm just going to click. It creates a text box in that column and now inserts it in as part of the thread. So now it continues from this first column into the second column and the third column. So it's very easy to simply remove a text box from a text thread and it's just about as easy to add it back in. So that's really all you need to know or all the basics you need to know about threading text in InDesign. Be sure to check out the other InDesign videos where we talk about things like inserting pictures, layouts, a whole bunch of fun stuff. But for now, that's text threading and I hope you enjoyed it.